It's the Mickey Mouse Clubhouse. Oh, <laughs> hey guys, it's all Johnson Honey once again. And today I'm gonna be you on a very nostalgic childhood show of mine from Playhouse Disney and Disney Junior. Yes, guys, I'm talking about Mickey Mouse Clubhouse, a show that I regret hating it back in the day. But now, in 2021, I started liking it again. And yes, guys, I will get the DVDs of Mickey Mouse Clubhouse in the future. I will get most of the DVDs from the show in the future. So yeah, Mickey Mouse Clubhouse came in the year of 2006, the same year I was born. So yeah, basically, basically what plot is, it's about Mickey Mouse and his great adventures with his friends and Toodles does some help with the characters and Literally, it's the same thing in every episode, but it did it in a nice way. So yeah, that's I can describe what the show is about. Now, guys, I'm really honest. I loved this show when I was a kid. As a matter of fact, I do remember watching the show as a kid on TV One. That's right, TV One. I watched the show for the very first time on TV One, and later on, I watched the show on um the car. With the Disney Channel DVR recordings, I watched Mickey Mouse Clubhouse on Disney Channel back as a kid. And on TV One, I watched an episode of it during a Saturday morning while eating. I don't remember. I, I was three years old or two when I watched Mickey Mouse Clubhouse for the very first time on TV One. I watched it on TV One for the very first time, and I watched it on 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 the DVRs from Disney Channel. I remember the episode where Mickey Donald have an elephant in the blue flying, which I remember the episode, watched the episode at the car doing a trip at Eagle Eagle Rail, I think, with my little cousin on the Disney Channel DVR recording. And remember when the when it was when the episode was over, they actually did a banner of coming up when the episode was over after see a real soon. Soon and then it got the get king and then the credits start rolling it comes with the banner of next Phineas and Ferb, which I do remember that. Or maybe next coming up next, next coming up next feast for me coming up next. Which yeah, I remember that. And I also remember watching it on Disney Channel during the morning. And I do remember having a few DVDs of Mickey Mouse Clubhouse. Back when I was 8 years old in 2014, I had the Super Adventure DVD and the Mini Rella DVD. I got them after my This Easy Way at Alcoy. I got them at Cara 4. I was really going to get rid of, the, rid, of the, rid of these DVDs because I, was, I didn't like the show 2020, but I decided to keep these DVDs in 2020, in 20, because those DVDs were probably and I started liking the show in 2020, and I decided to keep these DVDs just for my collection. So, yeah. Anyways. And I did remember when I was a kid. When I was a kid, I did remember having the Mickey Mouse Clubhouse playset from Famosa back when I was a kid. Back when I was very, very little, got that in Christmas back in two thousand eight or two thousand nine. Yeah, I think got that back in Christmas two thousand nine or two thousand eight. And I did remember having the Aqua Doodle from Mickey Mouse Clubhouse, which I will show you in a while. Let me. This is not. I ha and yes, I did have this this toy when I was a kid. The Aqua Doodle I have is with Mickey Mouse Clubhouse. I had the Aqua Doodle Mickey Mouse Clubhouse, which I have that on my memory, on my Toshiba, on my on my child memories. I had that toy when I was a kid with the Mickey Mouse. With the Mickey Mouse Clubhouse characters on the board. Which, yeah, it was part of my childhood. It was very nostalgic. I will show you the Mickey Mouse Clubhouse from Famosa. Which is the one I do have. That's the Mickey Mouse Clubhouse set I had with the Famosa. The Famosa version. I got that back in 2000 and. I got that back in 2009 on Christmas or 2008, which I don't hardly remember. Ah, uh, memories. That's the one I did remember having back in the day. It was part of my childhood. And, and as a matter of fact, I even have the car set. The car. That's the one I have. 
the one with the car right there. I had got that back in 2010, I think, or 2009. I had the one with the car from Famosa from 2000, from 2000, from Mickey Mouse Clubhouse. Takes me, uh, this takes me back to my childhood. And no, I didn't have this, but I do have this one. And I still have it to this day. As a matter of fact, I still have the Mickey Mouse Clubhouse set to this day. I still have it to this day, which I will show you that later. Very soon. It was part of my childhood. I love playing. I used to play with that toy back in 2010 and 2009. It was part of my childhood. I, I had a great childhood during the late 2000s and 2010s. So yeah. Anyways, what do I think of Mickey Mouse Clubhouse? It's a very great show for my childhood. And I defend the show quite a lot from these toxic Go Anime community YouTubers. Oh, I hate the Go Anime community so much. The Beyond Style Rants, fuck these rants in the ass. Even though hate videos, which I fucking hate hate videos so much, and even hate arts. Don't give me start on hate arts. Hate arts are fucking awful, not funny, and they're pretty much hate toxic, like being taught to hate boards even more. And no, guys, I'm not gonna see these hate arts ever again from random sounds. Oh no, I'm not gonna talk about that because I hate those arts so much. Especially regular Sons Seder. Ah, oh, no, 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 no. We don't want to mention that YouTuber on my channel ever again. Because I want to pretend this YouTuber is out of dead sense. Or so I say, this YouTuber is not on, is not, didn't exist. So yeah, move on. Move, let's move on to this nostalgic, nostalgic piece of art. So, the story is the same in every episode, but in a great way. The characters are really great. And Toodles. I love Toodles. Toodles is a great character. And Lamborghini Strikes Back. If you're watching this, can you do a review of Mickey Mouse Clubhouse? That would be interesting to, for you to review of Mickey Mouse Clubhouse. So yeah. I didn't remember most of the episodes. I remember most of the episodes. I'm not going to tell the episodes I do remember. Because it would take a while. And I do remember the Hot Dog song. The Hot Dog song is so great. I remember in Season 1, they have the characters talking. Throughout the song, and then it comes with a bad, the bad, the bad, and then in season two on, in season two onwards, sorry about that. In season two through onwards, there's a character talking throughout the song, and then in season, in during season one, they speak about the moments that happened during the series, during the episode. It was very nostalgic. Yeah. And I do remember watching an episode of Mickey Mouse Clubhouse at the submarine thing in one time for change because. I was watching lots of Dora the Explorer and that, which, speaking of Dora the Explorer, that's actually my next review after Little Einstein's, which is my 44th review on my channel, so yeah. So yeah, I will review on Dora the Explorer soon, because that show is a classic, and forget the Beyond community, who threat that show like it's worse than Hitler. And yes, guys, if you don't like Mickey Mouse Clubhouse, it's, that's fine, but don't threat that show like it's worse than Hitler. Please, don't you do it. And yes, guys, I will get most of the DVDs of the show in the future. Overall, guys, Mickey Mouse Clubhouse is a great childhood show of mine. And guess, of, and guess what, guys? This show is coming back next year. That's right. Mickey Mouse Clubhouse is coming back next year for... Let me see. Let me go. That's Mickey Mouse Clubhouse is coming back next year as... Mickey Mouse Clubhouse Plus. That's right. Mickey Mouse Clubhouse Plus is the Mickey Mouse Clubhouse sequel that we're getting next year. So yeah, over guys, I give the show a 10 out of 10. It's an amazing real mouse piece. So that's my review of Mickey Mouse Clubhouse. I recall Mickey Mouse Clubhouse Plus is just as good as the original. So yeah, stay tuned for my review on Little Einstein's, which I had to review on Little Einstein's. That's a childhood great show of mine. Till next time, see ya real soon. Or should I say, <laughs> Thanks for stopping by. Ding. And a very nostalgic part. I'm gonna put the Mickey Mouse Clubhouse credits. From season one. Season. Sorry about that. Let me go to a perfect Mickey Mouse Clubhouse credits. Ignore the bo ignore the voice in the background. Just just focus on the music.
Ágó Beden a László, gyártásvezető Német Piroska, zenei rendező Bolba Tamás, szinkron rendező Orosz Indikó, produkciós vezető Szabó Nikolett. A magyar változatot az SDI Sun Studio készítette. As a matter of fact, I remember with the Winter Beast logo after the Disney logo, I, I seen, and yes guys, I seen the crash with the Playhouse Disney original logo from US Prince. So yeah. <laughs>